Hello brothers and sisters. So blessed to be able to be back and be here to share the word of the Lord. I uh, will be starting off with worship before I say the word of the Lord. Beautiful, glorious, matchless in every way, wonderful, beautiful, glorious. Matchless in every way, wonderful, beautiful, glorious, matchless in every way, wonderful, beautiful. Matchless in every way, wonderful, beautiful, glorious. Matchless in every way, wonderful, beautiful, glorious. Matchless in every way, wonderful, beautiful, glorious. Matchless in every way, wonderful, beautiful, you're glorious, matchless in every way, beautiful, glorious, matchless in every way, wonderful, beautiful, you're glorious. You're matchless and wonderful, beautiful, you're glorious, and matchless in every way, beautiful, glorious, wonderful, beautiful, glorious. Matchless in every way, wonderful, beautiful, glorious, matchless in every way. You're beautiful, Lord. Wonder they call you holy. You're beautiful, Lord. You are wonderful. No wonder. Matchless in every way, wonderful, beautiful, glorious, matchless in every way, 
beautiful, glorious, matchless in every way, wonderful, beautiful, glorious. You are matchless, you are matchless, you are wonderful, you're beautiful, you're glorious, matchless in every way, wonderful, beautiful, glorious, matchless in every way. You're beautiful, you're wonderful, you're wonderful, beautiful, you're glorious, beautiful, glorious. Beautiful, glorious, matchless, and beautiful. Beautiful. Wonderful. Beautiful, glorious, beautiful, glorious. Okay, that was so beautiful. Thank you guys for worshiping with me. So before I start off, 
with the word of the Lord I want to just give praise to God for everything that he has done for me I want to share a couple of things that he did in the last two months to encourage someone So, um, my last job that I had, uh, they were um, giving out help to um, children of the um, workers that they had at my job. And, um, or they had to be like legally, um, like you had to be like legally taking care of them. And then I just felt that God wanted me to apply and I knew that they were gonna ask for proof, but she, um, she, my sister, she's, I don't have anything legally that's saying that she's my daughter or anything, cause she's not. And um, I still, um, I still applied, even though I didn't know. I knew that it was, I knew that it would, if I got approved, I knew that it would go be because I'm only God, not because of anything, because the circumstances wasn't making it able for her to get the help because they were going to ask for proof. So I, we did, I, um, I did it. I think I had to submit something. And then also that, so then I told my sister to, to my sister to submit a part. It's, it was just like an essay. Um, saying why she would need the why she needed the financial help and um, and then she had to like submit forms to prove that she's really going to school and stuff and then after that um, then they sent me an email to my job and they said that they wanted the proof that I had like legally you know was taking care of her and I replied that I didn't have anything to say that I was taking that she was legally, you know, that I was taking care of her. And then afterwards, so I just left it and I, you know, I was praying and I was like, Lord, you know, this would be, be really, really, really helpful to us. Well, to my sister, because she needs the help. And then um, a few weeks went by and then um, I, I got a, a message on my email at work and it said that they wanted to Skype like they sent me the message like at 2 30 and then they said are you available to Skype at 2 45 so then I jumped on the Skype at 2 45 and then the ladies like oh I just want to let you know that you know um, it was actually um, two girls on the phone it was the one that was like um, receiving the 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 information like the assistant and then uh but the other lady the one that had was gonna make decisions she's the one that was reading the stuff that was submitted by the by the by the students that were sending their information and so the lady had said you know that when i read her 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 information came through I just felt in my heart that I had to continue to pursue to give her the help. And I mean, these are, this is a big company, this is a big corporation, and there's a lot of people that are sending in the, the they want the help for their children. And then after that, um, just, uh, just to let you know, we're gonna be calling your sister in the next 15 minutes. And um, so you guys don't know, like my sister is like my daughter to me. Like I've taken care of her since she was little and I look after her and she's like my daughter and I, you know, we're really close. And so I wanted to help her because I know that she needs this, um, you know, that she needs this help. And then the lady's like, we're going to be calling her in the next 15 minutes. We just wanted to let you know first. So then I texted my sister and I'm like, they're going to be calling you. And then they called her and they extended her the invitation to come on on zoom with like uh, the owner of the company of my company and different doctors and you know they invited her to be a part of this award ceremony and there was um, there was about I want to say like about 50 um, students that they chose that were children that were kids and um, she ended up getting um, um, I think she ended up getting the highest 
um, amount of money. I'm not really sure 100%, but I know she she got the the one of the biggest awards. And um, so we went on, and we didn't know how much she was gonna get. We just knew that she was gonna get an award. We didn't know anything. We went on, you know, they congratulated her for her achievements, and they congratulated her for her effort and her hard work. And I was on there too, cause they wanted, you know, the parents, and I'm like her parent to be on there to you know to be there with her to receive this award and um to make a long story short we didn't know how much she was gonna get and you know she ended up getting the financial help and it was a very good amount of money um i'm not gonna disclose how much it is because it's her her privacy and her her stuff and but it, you know i just want to encourage you guys to step out of the comfort zone to step out of the things like don't be bound by your mind because in our minds we cannot do it because a b and c and d and, and a b and c d says to do it a b and c and then when you go into an, an a natural zone you give god to jump in and do something for you where you know that it was only done because of the grace of god because she wasn't supposed to and she ended up getting it regardless and even the lady when i was talking to her she said that her assistant could not tell her oh don't even bother to read her her paper her you know her email because she doesn't even qualify they don't have the papers that they need and the lady said she felt the tug in her heart that she needed to give her an opportunity and that she needed to give her this money and it's just amazing because it was the Lord and then after that there was another so you know that was one opportunity and that was another opportunity from my job too and it said like send in your story um, if you need any like financial help for Christmas and I was there with the company for about three years and I don't know why but I don't know if that was the first time they were doing it but I've never like thought about doing it and um so i sent an email and i just said like you know i just said like i would really the money would really help me and i would really like you know because um a few months before that i had got um one of my tires exploded on the freeway and then when i went to take it to the shop they told me that i needed all four brand new tires and the alignment i also needed brakes so the whole thing ended up coming out to like 650 so anyway so when i send them the email saying that you know for the christmas help it would be really um helpful if it were you know because i need that money and stuff i like that and then so anyways i just wrote from my heart i just told them the truth i told them that i paid for this stuff but i told them that i paid for it um and i didn't have the money to pay for it so pretty much i paid for it with the credit card and um so then that was it they you know they sent me back an email saying like thank you we received your email and it was just so awesome like a few months later uh, maybe not months maybe like a few weeks later like six or eight weeks later I got a check in the mail and um, it was for the amount of money that it was it was for 650 it was the amount of money that I paid for it that I needed to pay for my tires and all that stuff so those were the two big things um that the lord did i mean he's always does amazing stuff but i just felt like you know you know david talks so much in psalms about praising the lord praising the lord for his works praising the lord for what he has done praise the lord in the morning praise the lord at night praise the lord you know in your in your weakness praise the lord in your joy praise the lord, the lord in your happiness and you know I don't sometimes I don't want to like you know come on in here and like say like oh you know the Lord did this and this and this but I felt like the Lord wanted me to because you know at the end if you're the you know if the Bible says if you're gonna boast boast on the Lord because he did it and he is always doing amazing things for us so I just want to encourage you guys to step out of the normal to if you feel like the Lord is leading you to something don't be scared to step out because it doesn't it doesn't like in the mind it doesn't make sense but you know we're spiritual beings and I know that we're in the flesh and it's very hard to like you know be in the flesh and then think like spiritually 
because of fear and because of like you know the being in the box and stuff like that but i just want to encourage you guys that whatever the lord is telling you to do whether it seems like it would be no or whether it seems like it would be a rejection to just go ahead and do it because it's gonna be awesome and then i think that's it for now i can continue to tell you guys so many things that the lord has done but those will be the two things that i will share today and today i am going to be speaking in, on psalms 45 and the verse i'm going to be speaking on is going to be verse 10 i'm just going to go ahead and read through it and then after that i'll go back and then um i'll go through the through them each so 45 10 it says, uh psalms 45 10 it says listen O daughter consider and incline your ear forget your own people also and your father's house so the king will greatly desire your beauty because he is your lord worship him and the daughter of tyree will come with a gift the rich among the people will seek your favor the royal daughter is all glorious within the palace her clothing is woven in gold she shall be brought to the king in robes of many colors. The virgins, her companions who follow her, shall be brought to you. With the gladness and rejoicing they shall be brought. They shall enter the king's palace. Instead of your father shall be your sons, whom shall make the princes in all the earth. I will make your name to be remembered in all generations. Therefore, the people shall praise you forever and ever. So I'm going to go back to 4510. And it says, listen, O daughter, consider and incline your ear. So it's telling us to consider and incline our ear. Forget your own people and your father's house. So it says, forget your own people and your father's house. And then you think about the scripture and then you think about it, it says forget your own people and forget about your father's house you know i was just meditating on that and i was like lord what does that mean to me what does that mean to you what does it mean to your people you know because the bible speaks in a certain way but then he also means it in that way but then he also means it in so much depth and so much wisdom and every word that comes out of the, the 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 mouth of God, there's so much wisdom. And I desire to learn everything that the Lord has to say. And then when it says, forget your own people and forget your father's house. You know, the Lord just really wants us to focus on forgetting the past. Forgetting Egypt. Forgetting our old ways are always that we used to think are always and you know i know that a lot of times when we give our life to the lord we have a lot of we have you know we change we change the way we dress we change the way we talk we change the way we behave um but deep deep down inside is rooted in our hearts so much junk from the past and you know those are things that are hidden it's the little foxes that spoil the vine it's those little little tiny tiny things that you think that they're not there anymore but they're in your heart and it's our little old ways of thinking a little old ways of doing things and our and it says right there forget your own people also your own people that means like our people we used to hang around with our old ways and I know that you know when we give our life to the to the Lord we might think like oh like that's in the past but then a lot of the times we react in ways that are not in the past we react in ways that are ways that we used to have about ourselves ways that we used to act or when we used to get mad and used to think like oh I don't care like things like that and you know they can be that's just like a simple example but they can be more worse um worse things um they can be like you know lust thoughts think thoughts of lust towards people people that are attractive people 
that are really good looking really whatever things that you liked in the past if you really were into like really you know buff men or really voluptuous woman or um or you know anger or getting really 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 mad or perverted thoughts lust like things like that that we say like oh you know whatever problems we had with them before and they're deep in our, in our hearts and then after that we come to know the lord and yes for a lot of the times for for a long time it stays dormant where we're fine we don't have a problem with it you know we think we it's all you know figured out and then after that the enemy will come back up and those little things that we thought were dormant that were behind the enemy be begins to bring them up again to our mind and to our heart and you know we have to remember that we have to keep in mind that it's not like a whatever thing this is a big thing and we have to you know be conscious in our in our minds that those are our old ways and that those old ways have to be put to death crucify the flesh they have to be they have to they cannot have nothing they cannot have they can have the zero percent in our hearts zero percent in our mind and zero percent in our flesh and then it says also your father's house a lot of the ways that we think is because the same thing because of the people that we grew up with a lot of the things that our parents used to say to us a lot of the things that you grow up you know if they were superstitious like you grow up and you still have those things like deep in your heart like you know whatever like don't go um don't go don't walk under a stair uh don't put your purse on the floor or like things like that or um negativity or condescending things and stuff like that and you know like negative thinking like you're never gonna have this you're never gonna be this and stuff like that like you know that's from that's old stuff that's old stuff from our father's house and we cannot bring in the old the old from our past the old from their past and to our new and we have to make sure that we crucify the flesh we have to make sure that whatever thought comes up we repent and we ask Jesus like and we have to be conscious that it's not we can't take it passively those thoughts and and, and you know what the Lord is doing you know Egypt we left Egypt when we come to know the Lord, we will leave Egypt, but we have to make sure that Egypt doesn't come with us in our heart. Yes, Egypt is behind. You know, we forgot about Egypt. Egypt treated us horribly and we don't want to ever go back. But we have to make sure that we don't bring Egypt into our heart and to our ways that we think and to the ways that we do things. You know, so I'm going to repeat as this. Listen, old daughter, consider and incline your ear. Forget your own people also, also your father's house. So that was verse 10. Now 11, it says, so the king will greatly desire your beauty. So we're talking about Jesus here. And it's saying, so the king will greatly desire your beauty. So, you know, a lot of people want to be desired by your husband, which is not bad. You want to be desired by people you want people to look up to you and stuff like that but at the end we want King Jesus to desire our beauty and that's the beauty that comes from leaving Egypt behind and sometimes we we have so many things that even now as a Christian woman we have so many things that that is trying to distract us from from the Lord we have you know it's talking about leaving your father's house and it's talking about you know leaving all those things and then sometimes you know we can have people in our life that constantly need our attention you know our families that are constantly calling us they constantly want like you know they're calling you and they need you to give them a ride or they need you to take them to the grocery store or they need you to do them something or or help them with this and stuff like that but you know we have to have boundaries because in order for us to leave them and we don't really leave them but we put them to the side to follow the king 
we have to put everybody to the side and be like, you know, from this time to this time, please, I need that time alone with the Lord. Because we need to just, you know, put them in their proper pace, place. The Lord is number one. And our family and everyone, yes, we love them, but they are not supposed to, you know, to be here all the time. We need to spend this and this. We have to spend it on the Lord. We have to make time for him he is the most important thing that we have so we need to you know separate an hour a day or whatever but you know the longer the better to spend on him to meditate the time with him to make him fill us up and you know that's why it says you know to leave to leave to leave behind don't carry all the stress don't carry all the drama don't carry all the hardship leave it to so you know so the king will greatly desire our beauty and that's what we want we want king jesus to desire our beauty because in our hearts there has to be room for god to fill that place that we can't be worried about the world and worry about our forefathers and worry about the stuff from behind egypt egypt needs to get out and god has to fill that 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 right here so when he looks at us, it's beautiful, it's clean, it's pure, <clears throat> it's a sweet aroma to the Lord. And it says, so the king will greatly desire your beauty because he is your Lord. Worship him. So, you know, he's saying right there, like, worship him, not worship the past. Don't worship the people, but, you know, worship the Lord. It says, and the daughter of Tyre will come with a gift. So the Lord... It's gonna come with a gift once we choose to put the people in God and their proper place. It says the rich among the people will seek your favor. Once we spend that time with the Lord, you know, the people will see that there's something different about us. And then God will send favor our way because God is doing something and it takes time of separation and preparation for the God to do something in us. It says, the royal daughter is all glorious within the palace. That's us. The royal daughter is all glorious within the palace. Her clothing is woven, woven with gold. She shall be brought to the king in robes of many colors. That was Joseph. Joseph was favorite, favored, highly favored. And it's saying that we're going to come into the presence of the king with the, uh, with the coat of many colors. Hallelujah. It says the virgins and her companions who follow her shall be brought to you. You know, the, the virgins and then you also like, you know, the Bible talks about the ten wise virgins. It says with gladness and rejoicing they shall be brought. They shall enter the king's palace. Instead of your father shall be your sons. So right there where it says instead of your father shall be your son. So it's saying that, you know, God is doing something new inside of us he's doing something new and and the way that you know the, the we're glory carriers and the way that our glory goes on to the next generation is through the children that we birth it says instead of your father shall be your sons whom you shall make princes and all the earth so our descendants are what's going to be left behind to represent godliness and it says, I will make your name to be remembered in all generations. Therefore, the people shall praise you forever and ever. Amen. So that was the word that I had today. I just you know, want to thank the Lord for wanting to be in the midst of us, for wanting to teach us, for wanting us not to get distracted with life, but to seek him, to follow him. And, you know... There's great rewards when we choose to put God first, when we choose to follow him, when we choose to worship him. He's saying that he's going to clothe us in gold, that he's going to clothe us with many colors that, you know what I mean? That we're going to have joy and gladness and we're going to enter the king's palace and in return, our seed is going to be blessed. And I know that it's hard because we have so many things and not only do we have a lot of things. But the enemy also is there trying to distract us because he doesn't want to get us. He doesn't want us to get a word from the Lord. He doesn't want us to spend that sweet time because it, that moment, that, that time that we spend with the Lord, it refills us. It fills us up 
with joy and peace and contentment that nobody else can bring. Laying down, being on YouTube is not going to bring you joy and contentment. Laying down to your significant other, yes, that's great. But it's still not going to bring you joy and satisfaction the way that the king of kings is. So we have to, you know, put that time for the Lord because he's our priority before our job, before our family, before ourselves because we think about ourselves too. We think like, I want to eat, I want to lay down, I want to sleep and all those things are great. But the king is first. And the amazing thing is that God sees our sacrifice. You know, the Bible says obedience is better than sacrifice. And obedience from God is everything. With obedience, we grow in wisdom, knowledge, and truth. And, you know, to obey Him, the King wants our attention. The King wants our devotion. And the Bible says that He is jealous for us. And I thank the Lord for that because... If I didn't feel like the tug in my heart from God, I don't know what I would do with myself. Like he is the one that gives me the strength and he is the one that gives me the strength to get up early so I can pray and read the word. He's the one that gives me the strength when I come home and I'm too tired and I, I fight the flesh because the flesh doesn't want to, the flesh doesn't want to focus and read. The flesh wants to lay down and you know be on my phone but I listen to the voice of God I listen to the conviction of the Holy Spirit and if the Holy Spirit is telling me get on your knees and pray I'm gonna get on my knees and I'm gonna pray if the Holy Spirit is telling me you need to you know be in prayer longer and then I'm gonna be in prayer longer and the Holy Spirit says don't stop reading keep on reading and then I am gonna stay there until I get a word from the Lord so I just want to encourage everybody you know to seek God because it it is essential for us as I walk with the God to spend time with him. There is nothing else that we need to do. We have to be we have to be Mary's not Martha's. So thank you guys for being here. Thank you guys for spending time with the Lord. And thank you guys. I hope you guys have a blessed week. And I'm just going to close on a prayer. Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we come before you, Lord, Father God. We are so honored for your word, Father God. You know I love your word, Father God. I thank you so much, Father God, that you talk to us, Father God, that you convict us, Father God, that you chastise us when we're wrong. I thank you for the Holy Spirit, Father God. I thank you that we are not alone, Father God. I thank you, Father God, that we, Father God, humble ourselves, Father God, to our weaknesses, Father God. You know our weaknesses, Father God. We are not perfect by far, Father God. We are broken. We are weak, Father God, but we desire, Father God, to be built up in you, Father God. We desire your strength. We desire your beauty of holiness, Father God. We thank you, Father God, for loving us, Father God. We thank you for accepting us how we are, Father God. With all our problems and our flaws and the things that we need from you, Father God. But we thank you, Jesus, that we are not alone. We thank you, Father God, that even though we fall on the floor a million times, Father God, your hand is always there to help us, Father God. And we thank you, Jesus, for loving us, Father God. For there is nobody, there is nobody like you, Father God. Like the song said, you are beautiful. You are glorious. You are matchless in every way, Father God. There's nobody greater than you. There's nobody more beautiful than you, Father God. There's nobody more compassionate and loving and caring than you, Father God. We worship you, Father God. Father God, we surrender everything to you, Father God. We surrender our hearts, Father God. There's nothing, 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 Father God that will satisfy us in this earth, Father God. We give you all the honor and all the glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bye. I hope you guys have a blessed week. Thank you so much for your support. And God bless you. Always praying for you guys. I hope you guys are encouraged. And, you know, keep following God. It's worth it. Bye.